Welcome to Zcast, everyone. I'm Zias Caraval from ZK Research, and I'm here at the Equinix stand inside the Expo Hall at GTC 2025. I'm here with uh, Didi from Equinix. Uh, Didi, uh, you and I have known each other a long time. Uh, uh, what do you do at Equinix, though? This is a relatively new role for you. Yeah, well, so I've been here about a year now, Zias, and uh, I head up marketing. Okay, so uh, as I mentioned, we're at GTC, we're at day two. Uh, keynotes were yesterday. Obviously, AI was the big theme. Uh, you obviously talked to a lot of customers. I'm curious, uh, before we get into some news that you had with, with uh, NVIDIA, uh, what, where are customers' heads at right now with AI? What are, they, are they scared of it? Are they excited about it? Are they trying things? You know, is this the year of kicking the tires, or are we really full steam ahead of the AI right now? I think we see a mix of all of the above, but I would say it's cautiously optimistic. I mean, uh, on one side, it's, it's a boardroom discussion. Every customer wants sure. to wants to be there, they don't want to be left behind, but at the same time, they want to make sure that they're, in, they're investing in the right areas. They're, they're trying out things before they make some really big investments, and that's what we're seeing. They're starting with some of their mission critical workloads, but not all workloads. So I think it's going to be uh, adoption, but this year, especially at this conference, I'm seeing a lot of the mainstream movement of like the key applications, you know, are being AI enabled. So definitely seeing the momentum. Yeah, and I'm seeing that as well. A, a big shift away from hyperscaler only right. to enterprises. Now, the one thing for enterprises though is they don't have the same technical staffs as a hyperscaler. They don't, certainly don't have the budget of hyperscalers, and they don't have the data centers. That's right. And so for them, the complexity of AI could actually overwhelm them. I know you just initially had to show you announced something called Instant AI. Uh, which is more of a service to help you get started there. So talk about that service, what kind of customers would use it and the value that it brings. Yeah, no, so we're, we're really uh, targeting and focusing on the enterprise customer. To your point, a lot of customers do not have that expertise, whether it's you know the initial design, but more importantly, the day two operations and keeping this keeping this running. I mean, well, we've been in the data center business for 26 years, and you know, we've not only built but we operate and manage data centers for more than 10,000 customers. That's the expertise we bring to the table. So a lot of cust enterprise customers trust us to deploy that initial equipment, you know, bring on their initial workloads, and then we also provide a managed service. That is the, that's the partnership we have with NVIDIA, where you know, outside of providing the space and power and the facilities and all of the networking, we actually manage the NVIDIA DGX stack for our customers. And so we're seeing a lot of uh, you know, uptake in that. About 200 customers is what we've seen in the last couple of years. Yeah, and uh, the value of that, I, I suppose, is just, it's a faster, easier way to get it deployed. Turnkey. Right? Yeah, yeah. It's turnkey. Yeah, and I mean, while people think of you know, DGX is a turnkey system. There's a lot of knobs and levers you got to tune. Absolutely. I mean, you know, it's not a matter of just powering this thing up and it just starts working. I mean, it's, it's the network provisioning, it's the space and power, cooling, making sure everything is, you know, matches the sustainability standards. Then it's not just the networking within the data center, but it's the networking between data centers and then connecting to the clouds. That's the expertise we bring. 40% of the public cloud on-ramps are at an Equinix data center. So that's more than you know, our next 10 competitors put together. 40% yeah. of all public pipes going to every you know, big public cloud is at an Equinix. So those are some of the things which provide that turnkey capabilities. And then on top of that, all of the, the managed service that I talked about. Yeah, and so can you give me an example of a customer uh, that you do manage and then the value they got? Absolutely, so hot off the press, just before uh, before the conference, um, we have uh, we just announced a big win with Block. Block is a parent company behind Square, the company that does all these yeah. millions of transactions. Um, so I, we I just think cubes in there somewhere too. That's right. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we just announced a, a big win. It's the first North American, you know, public uh, win with DGX SuperPod with the GB200 system. Okay. And so that's that's what you know is, is a big yeah, part of this show, and uh, and it's the there's only one place in the world where that could be deployed, which is at an Equinix data center. Yeah, I think also the value you have is you actually have it, <laughs> right? Because the shortage of that product are you know so long right now, right? That's so, right. Uh, lead times, yeah. It's that turnkey thing that we just talked about, 
But I think the, the biggest reason why Block chose us was, you know, apart from the data center facilities and operations, it's the interconnections. With more than 3,000 you know, clouds and IT service providers. Um, so yeah, that's, that's a big win which we just announced. Yeah, now there are other managed providers and there's other hosting companies. Um, I know you and I were talking before we recorded about what makes Equinix unique. And so just talk about the data center design. I know you have one in London that's got some pretty innovative features. So walk, walk through that about how all the thought process that Equinix has gone through yeah. uh, in, you know, in, in coming up with your data center design. I think you know, if there's one thing that's, that's harder to find than an NVIDIA GPU these days, it's power. Yeah. yeah. All right? So, because you got to think about, that, about power like three years, five years in advance. I mean, we work with NVIDIA very closely to, to know what their roadmap is, just to be able to design our data centers with that power capability. And so power is probably the biggest thing. Um, then you know you got things like advanced cooling, whether it's air cooling or liquid cooling. I mean, these things take years to build. And so it's the power, it's the cooling, and then, then it's the interconnectivity. No data center can be an island. It needs to be connected to everywhere else the customer has their workloads, everywhere else the customer wants to access the public clouds that I talked about, and also the entire IT ecosystem. So I think all of those is part of the, the secret sauce yeah. that, that makes us kind of stand out from uh, some of the, the alternatives out there. Yeah, all right, and since we're at the booth here, what are you guys showing at the booth? Well, uh, we've, we've got a few uh, demos, then you know, if you want to, we can walk over and show you one of the demos. All right, why don't we do that? Then all right. uh, we'll uh, pause this, we'll come back in a second, and you can join me the demos. Perfect. Okay. Thanks, Ayes. All right, well, I'm back with Aaron Delp. He's a uh, demo guy here at Equinix. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, what are you going to be showing me here? Yes, so what I'm going to show you here today is how easy it is for our customers to make connections. What we're going to show you actually is a bit of an example and a demo. What we're going to do is wire up Washington DC to Amsterdam okay. to Japan and then create an entire edge network around it as well. And we can just All in just a couple clicks okay. and a couple steps. Just point and click. A point and click. Right. This is what our customers would do. So what you're going to see here is actually the same tool all of our customers would use to go create these interconnections. Okay. So what we're doing is this tool is called Workbench and you create a little project. Now before I go into that though, this is really important because our customers, if this is a customer, this is a typical customer, their dots are blue. These are all the customer locations in the world. Red is us. Okay. Okay? So what we want to do is connect all of this together so we can cover as many blue dots as possible. Got it. All right? So here's how we do this. We basically start to pick a location, and I'm going to click through a couple of them quick here, but we want to go Washington, D.C. All right. All right? I and we we'll, got a big data center there. Big data. Yeah. We have an entire campus yeah. of data centers there. And what we want to do is, let's say it's an AI application. I, That's my, all we're going to see today. Exactly. And my AI application <laughs> has a requirement of 20 milliseconds or less latency. This is 20 milliseconds or less. So now from Washington, D.C., I turned this on and I said, look, I can cover most of my points of presence, my blue dots in one location. So I want to pick this as my central location, all right? So now that I've done that, I've said, okay, great. I need to figure out what this is. So I'm going to cover this in. I'm going to give it what I'll call a personality okay. or an identity of, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do compute here. I'm going to do network edge with some data and some firewall. And then once I do that, I'm also going to connect it up to clouds. So here's how you connect it up to the clouds. You basically go into, go into our services and you say, great, I now have a connection. It is compute. I've got network edge and I want to connect to all of the major public clouds. Yeah, that's just right? that easy. Exactly, yeah. that easy. So, and then what I would do is, great, I made all these connections, but it's basically one place. You got to connect somewhere. So let's go connect somewhere as well. So what I'm going to do next is show you connecting to somewhere else in the world. I'm going to pick Amsterdam. Okay. Now you'll notice here that point-to-point -point connection gets virtually created. Yeah. 68 milliseconds latency. So That's Washington DC to Amsterdam. Exactly. And now I'm going to create a ring that says, what's six milliseconds? I'm going to get even smaller. Okay. Six milliseconds to Amsterdam. By the way, I think in New York City, you don't even get 68. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, exactly. <laughs> right exactly. Right, yeah. Now. 
And then what you can do is I'm going to do those exact same things. I'm going to give it an identity. I'm going to connect it up to some, some clouds. Great. I've got two connections. I've got a, and I've got a replication link going back as well. Good. We're starting to look great. We've got two points. Let's go create a third. Let's go talk to Japan. Okay. So now we've talked to Japan. And oh, by the way, let's go talk to all my other edge locations around the world as well. So now I've went and just created with just a couple clicks. I think it's nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight locations around the world, all point-to-point -point connections, all covering the blue dots that I need to cover uh, my offices, my locations. I'm completely covered. Completely covered. And all of that done in a few, a yeah, few clicks. A couple of minutes. A couple of minutes. That's that easy. That easy. All right. Uh, well, that was a fantastic demo. So, Absolutely. And this is the standard portal all your customers use. Exactly. Well, you always say you aim to be easy. So. <laughs> all right, thanks, Aaron. Thank you very Appreciate much for your time. Uh, Aaron, thanks for, certainly thanks for the demo. So on behalf of Aaron and Didi, I'm ZS Caraval from ZK Research. Thanks for watching. Uh, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you next time in an episode of ZCast.